Hey everybody, welcome to Mass Effect. Uh, this is the PC version. We're going to be starting a game from scratch and carrying on through all three fucking trilogies to the new extended shitty ending. <laughs> or endings, I should say. So, why Welcome don't we get started? Shut up, computer! I'm talking! Classified information requested. I'll classify your face. Establishing secure connection. Yeah. Secure connection confirmed. Alright, so... Let's enter a new ID instead of Generic Shepard. Generic... God, he looks retarded. Please seriously. To access your profile. Fuck you. I was Jack Shepard long before Lost. Long before I even watched that fucking shitty ass show. Fuck Lost. It was okay to start out with and then shit just got Warning. stupid. Data corruption detected. We were actually having bets on what stupid shit would happen next. We were wondering Please if it was going to become Lost in program. Space. Of course Confirm it never came to that. I'm a fucking spacer, bitch! Ruthless! Confirm military specialization. I'm gonna shoot people in the fucking dick! The sniper rifle! And assault Confirm rifles. Facial identification. Okay. Ah! The hell are you? No. No. Hell you to that. I don't even know. I always had that scar there, but for some reason, it was like, oh yeah, we rebuilt you. By the way, we took away your scar. Because we're assholes. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot with my shepherd. There we go. No, no! I didn't pick that. I want a nose. Actually, no, I didn't even want a nose. I don't change his nose. And that's reconstruction complete. And that's the shepherd I always use. Identification confirmed. We're just gonna The combat in the first game is well, all the AI does is go derp and run at you, so The combat is improved in the second and third games. So we'll actually give it more of a challenge then. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer and lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. So? He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Damn straight. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest blah blah blah. Fucking goddamn it! Give me time to read. Mass Effect. Blah! Fuckers. Gotta be fucking speed reader. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Man. Ugh. 
now. We are connected. Calculating transmass and destination. I don't care, Seth Green. Relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. Man. All stations secure for transit. Supposed to hit the relay. We're supposed to use it. Shit. Thrusters check. Navigation check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift just under 1500k. 1500 is good. What the fuck are you doing on my ship? Got a cockroach problem. Shoot it out the airlock. Niners gave you a comp. Makes perfect sense. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. No, they don't. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Yes, indeed. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain is letting up. Joker, status report. Player. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. And ever since he lost to fucking Third Street. <laughs> fucking Joker. Is there anything to... Codex! I need some Codex moments. Experiences. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Or you are. Sounds like you don't it. trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? Of course. All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What are these stealth systems? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? Racist. No, sir. But Bullshit. I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his metals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating the shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Mm. And he's special. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. He's retarded. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. 
Eh, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good Before luck, I shoot him out the fucking airlock. Goddamn bug. I grew up on you, Prime Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> Marines are meant to fight. You just mix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. Well, if you don't you like it, go back to Star Trek, bitch. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Uh, you, you, uh, uh. Uh. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Yeah, everything will work you out. Say, you proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. Yeah. I need to show the brass. Send wave can after wave after wave of my own troops into the meat grinder until I can walk up and shoot the boss in the face and be the hero. Just don't play the hero. That's my job. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Just follow my orders. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What do you know about the bug? What can you tell me about Nile? Turians are ah. generally well now respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. And so did I. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why ain't I in there? And goddamn, is my hair low res. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Well, you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. I could do that. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. So what's this little shit ball we're headed to? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Why the fuck are we going there, then? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? <clears throat> Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Yeah, just follow my orders and do everything I say, and you'll come out just fine. Just like Torfin. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see here. Rats of What the hell? A bug bait. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The fuck do you want to talk about? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So? I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. 
Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Duh. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Should have told me, bitch. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down to the top, Commander. The information strictly on a need to know basis. A research team on Eden Prime yeah. unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protheon. The fuck are Protheans? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their oh, you mean those four ride remains. thingies? The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. <coughs> this is big shit. Sure it is. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon it's back to the city. Just a bunch of fucking study. rednecks on a rock. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. And why the fuck did we tell them? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Yeah, should have figured. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfan. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Captain? You support this player? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Codex moments. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they told us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Alright, let's talk about the little shit ball we're going to while I go get another drink out of the fridge. Be right back. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Ah, perfect timing. Beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. That popped up on the screen, didn't it? What hands? Like who? My the hands? The Earth isn't the most stable sector of cities. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. <laughs> what the fuck are the Terminus? 
The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus... Have dust fuzzies on the end of my microphone thingy. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Why not? We kick their ass, we take over, and then everybody in the Council! Except for the Batarians. They're assholes. Alright, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. God damn it. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Right on cue. Bring it up on screen. Blue. Titties. Get down! Get the shot of my ass! Seems like they're getting their ass kicked, sir. Shit, those rich kids got new toy. Fuck that gang. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Where's the timestamp on it? How do you know that's 38.5? 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. From that angle, it almost looks like a big hand. Quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Alien hand. Grab your gear and meet us in the space cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Yay, I got the cannon fodder. Alright, retard, redneck, let's go. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Fuck them. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Do I get bonus points if I save people or should I just shoot them for experience? I move faster on my own. Hey, aren't we gonna land Tonight first? He'll feed you status reports no, he's just gonna jump out the ship. I want radio silence. Can we trust him? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a turret, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the space, and he wants that beat. Fine, fine. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. All right. I'm not jumping out the ship like that crazy fucker. Land. That's not landing. Fuck you! Alright, first things first. Hmm. Might wanna get some intimidation going on. Grr. And Alenko. Learn how to decrypt shit. Welcome. What the hell are those? Dead in a second. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. How would you know? Were you fucking them? Yeah. Goddamn, Caden, you're such a bitch. Shooting harmless animals on an alien world. <laughs> Free random stuff. What do we have here? Oh, this is military grade equipment. Really? Yeah. How much is it worth? Ten bucks. What? You heard me, ten bucks. You said this is military grade equipment. Yeah. So we give all the privates. 
If they don't die, we give them better shit. Um. Ah, I say a barbecue. Let's go. Kind of makes me hungry. I wonder if it'd be rude if I just break off a piece for later. Meh. Let's go. Hold up. Idiot squad assemble. Uh, I forgot to take my dumbass helmet off. Bullet bait. Move out. See if there's any enemies. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's see. Yep, I was right. Oh, right in the dick. Shot him right in the dick. Shut up. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to be nice to any of these rednecks, so... Let's get my marksman. Let's see here. Take the stupid ass fucking helmet off. God damn, that thing looks retarded. Alright, let's move out. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. And that's why I sent him out here. Forget about him, he served Leave his him. purpose. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. Alright, bomb bait, let's go. One of those gas things. Oh, I almost forgot. Want that there. That there. All clear. Really? That doesn't look clear to me, asshole. Really? I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I at uh, dibs, dibs. Any loot is mine. I call dibs. I don't have to save the civilians. <clears throat> so why would I? I can take their stuff. The fuck off. God damn, Caden. Commander, I got a shot. Heal me. No. Oh, there you went to. Fuck you. Hey! My kill. Did you know the commander gets dibs on everything? Diddies! Yep. Too bad Fucking ugly bitch. Go to sleep. Fucking redneck. Oh! Oh, oh right at the butt. Turn the looks of things. Beep. Robot engage tentacle rape mode. Beep. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Your point? Where's the rest of your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. No one gets left behind. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. And then you cut cut and ran. Outside the veil in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Hmm. Target practice? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Yeah, stay here. You'll only steal my kills. 
Lieutenant Alenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, sir. Stuck the with Retardicon here. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Hmm. I did just sacrifice my private to see if there were any enemies in an area. Sure, come on! Welcome aboard, Williams. <laughs> Staff <laughs> Lieutenant Welcome Aiden aboard. Alenko. Glad to have you on the team. What do you know about the fucking walking dildos? What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. Ooh, Quarians? It was supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Sure they did. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. What do you know about the Beacon? Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific hmm. expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Do me a favor. The beacon itself, but Shut the blinders on your helmet. The Please. Discovery of the century. Scientists? Can I shoot them? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. What were you doing before the attack? Blowing the entire garrison? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple I was in the middle of a gangbang. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Eh. Whatever, you racist Republican whore. Let's go. Move out. 